Happy Sabbath, friends. On this Sunday morning in the midst of the pandemic and a confusing year, we have arrived at the second Sunday in Advent. In the ancient world, as we talked about last week, people lit fires to mark the turning of the light into winter season and to pray for a return of the light. The church turned that practice into the lighting of the Advent wreath as signs of the growing light of Christ who is coming again in all fullness into the darkness of our world. We watch and wait Christ coming into the darkness of the world, lighting candles of hope, peace, joy and love, and remembering the promises of God with prayer. Today and each day of the coming week, we will pray about peace. Let's pray. Lord, many call you Father, but many know you by other names to include the Prince of Peace. Here is we call to you. Help guide us to knowing how our voices can become voices of peace in the world. We know the prophets told us that you would send your Son into the world to bring us peace. We know also that as a sign of your faithfulness, that we should be agents of peace in the world. Friends, today as we gather together in prayer, I invite you to think about where you need to find peace in your life and where you can contribute to peace in the world. Starting with personal peace, peace in your family, your church, your community, and the world. As we continue in prayer, Lord, we pray that you will guide us to know how we can personally be change agents in the world to put an end to hate, violence, and war. Help us to know what we can do, say, and act out as examples of peace in the world. Help us to combat systemic racism, domestic violence, gun violence, political conflict and war. Help us to know our power to do so through you. Friends, our reading for today comes from the book of Isaiah from the 40th chapter, verses 1 through 11. Comfort, O oh comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, and seek peace in all that you do. Amen.